We're back. Another episode of the Wolf of Charles Street Podcast. You know, I've been kind of down, just getting over the flu. You know, just, you know, regular shit that everybody go through, you feel me? You know, so I'm glad I get to go through these things in real time so I could be able to come on my platform and be able to talk to those who are going through the same journey. You know, this being a business culture lifestyle platform that I set up, you're not going to easily talk about some street stuff, talk sports, talk whatever. But, you know, I want to I like talking business because, you know, everything we do in this country is business. You feel me? But yeah, so you know I'm feeling, you know I'm feeling better, yeah man, feeling good, feeling great, you feel me? And man, so I, you know I just want to jump back at it, talk to the people, man. So um, so let, let's do it. Let's do this. We're gonna talk about financial freedom this episode because you gotta be able to. You know, it's just natural. You're going to go through these things. You're going to, it's going to be hiccups. You're going to get, yeah, man, you might get sick and you might have to miss some time. But y'all know, y'all can't take up, take off too much time from your job. You feel me? Without getting your asses let go. So we're going to talk financial freedom. You feel me? You have to learn skills that's going to be able to pay the bills when, you know, you're not able to, you know, physically, you know, be doing this back breaking work, work that's going to take energy that maybe you can't, you know, you can't get that energy because, of, you know, you're not feeling good or you just incapacitated at the time. So you have to learn certain skills. I'll give y'all a story about um, my mother had hip surgery a couple years back and literally I took a year off. And, you know, you know, just took care of a hand and foot, you feel me? And as I'm doing it, I'm noticing that, you know, her husband couldn't do that. You feel me? Her other kids couldn't do that. And me being the so-called black sheep, oh, that's how I feel, you feel me? Because the, the choices that I've made with my life to do what I'm doing, you know, when I had came to the family about, you know, starting this production. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of them, all of them, you know, that it, it's not, it's something they never seen before. So it's more, you know, you need to get a job, this and that. Listen, man, <laughs> I ain't listening to y'all back then. I ain't listening to y'all now. I damn sure ain't listening to y'all in the future because what I'm doing now, you feel me, has given me that financial freedom to be able to take care of my mother. So, yeah, I'm not going to stunt and act like, you know, that wasn't a financial hit to me, but I was able to bounce back because of the skills that I've learned, skills and, you know, stuff that I acquired and knowledge. So I was able to bounce back. I can make a quick 20 bands. I can make a quick 30, whatever. You feel me? I can make that, you know what I mean, and bounce back. So, like, I just want y'all to be aware that you have to, you have to learn skills that if you are bedridden, you're sick, you don't feel like doing, you ain't got to get up and go to work. You got these skills where you could just say this, say that, or do a little keystrokes on the laptop and you're going to be able to still get paid, still be able to pay your bills, still be able to take care of what you need to take care of. So that's very important. And also, when it comes to financial freedom, is who you have around you. Cause let's I'm gonna keep it a thousand, a million with y'all. If I if I get sick or I can't do this, I do that. Ain't nobody gonna promote my business. Ain't nobody gonna do what I'm gonna do. My girl not gonna do that. Notice you said notice I say my girl, not my girlfriend, not my wife. Because if I if I have a wife, what's mine is hers, what's hers is mine. So if I'm having if I have a company, my wife, that's gonna be my wife's company. And that's why, you know, divorces and stuff be so messy because when you are married to somebody, you know, like, and y'all go y'all separate ways, you know, those things have to be divided, those companies, those assets, and those, you know, and that's why, you know, marriages become so messy. But if I get sick, my girl not going to promote, my girl not going to say, hey, babe, all right, I'm, I'm going to run the IG. I'm going to do this. Or, um, okay, I'm going to make sure production keep going. My girl not going to do that. You feel me? Because she don't. She not, she not, she not gonna take that, 
that 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 initiative on her own to say, let me learn what he's doing. So in case anything happened, I could yeah, man. She's not gonna do that. You feel me? And I don't fall her for that. You're not my girl to do that. You feel me? <laughs> now, if you're my wife and things like that, you feel me? I'm a, I'm gonna hold you at a whole higher standard. But y'all girls, you feel me? If y'all dealing with a man and y'all see a man ha got a business and he on his shit, y'all gotta start having that forethought. Y'all gotta start having that that future vision and be able to say, you know what, I'm gonna stick by this guy. You feel me? Because in the future. This thing that he's building is going to be able to take care of me and mine. And we won't have to work for nobody else. So ladies and even fellas, fellas, if you got a girl that's on her shit, got her own business and shit, support her. 115% support her. Learn what she's doing. Be able to help her, have her back. You feel me? She's going to be able to take care of you and, and your dreams and what you, you want to do in the future. So when it comes to relationships and businesses and financial freedom, a hey, the closest gets the mostest, you feel me? So the closest will get the most information of what you're doing. But if the closest not taking that and be able to be an asset to you, it's a waste, really a waste of time and a relationship. So next thing I want to talk about, really, I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, I just want to probably just do a little venting. You feel me? Just do a little venting. Because at the end of the day, like I said, man, these bills and these things, you feel me? No matter what happened to you, like, you could die today. They're going to still be sending bills to your crib, man. It's just the reality of things. So, like, what I do... For myself and for my business, I take seriously 100%. So when people come around and they don't take that seriously, if I say, hey, we got to shoot at this time and they don't show up at that time, well, you know what? You feel me? I already see what it is. You feel me? And I know what it is. But at the same time, it's not. I'm not going to have that invest. I'm not going to invest that time and that energy into something that's not coming back. I pay for everything out of pocket, you know? You have to spend money to make money. Everybody walking around here, they gonna go spend money on them McQueens. They gonna go spend money on them them, them Nikes. They are gonna spend money on that designer. They gonna spend money on them bottles. They gonna spend money on partying. But you're not gonna get none of that money back. Every dollar that I'm spending on myself is a down payment. It's an investment, and it's gonna come back. So I don't trip on that. I don't trip on that at all, you feel me? And that's something that I want to share with y'all, you feel me? Yo, when they come when you guys when you when you got kick out a couple dollars for something that's for you, don't second guess that, yo. Don't second guess yourself. Kick that money out. That's for you. That's an investment in you. Nike ain't giving y'all no check back in the tax time. Yeah, come on, man. Y'all gotta be realistic. Y'all gotta understand what's going on. Y'all going to end up working 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Then you, then hopefully you can retire. Or your ass going to be at Walmart with the other old motherfuckers because you can't afford retirement. Listen, man, don't wait till it's too late. I'm telling y'all now, don't wait till it's too late, man. When you sick and you crippled and you can't do this and you can't do that for yourself, it's going to hurt. It's going to be a lot of depression. It's going to be a lot of drug addiction. I'm telling y'all, man. Just look around you. Look at your older, look at your older siblings. Look at your older family members. What are they doing for themselves? For the family, for the legacy. What are they doing? Right? <laughs> like the flu gonna always be around. Uh, these pandemics gonna keep coming and going. You know, it's it's marketing. <laughs> it's a marketing strategy. You gotta keep these hospitals filled. You got to keep this business going. Like I told y'all, everything in this country is business. So it's not going to get easy. It's going to get harder, but it's going to get easy if you prepare yourself for the future right now. Prepare for your older age. Prepare for the unknown. Prepare for the hiccups. You feel I me? Mean? 
Mm-hmm. When I get sick, man, I sh- I don't have to, you know, I turn down work. I need my time to get right. I need my time to be 100%. I'm not tripping over no work. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not worrying about that. But what I'm building right now, though, so when, when times do, you feel me, downtime do come my way, I could delegate that to my cameraman. I could delegate that to my engineers. I could delegate that to my editors. It's, I'm building. I have no problem. But I, I'm able to build this because of the skills that I learned that pays me so now I could invest my money into myself. Take away all this. Take away all this stuff. All everything you see here from me. Take it all away. Even if you never knew my name, trust and believe I'm gonna be making bread and I'm gonna be doing what I need to do because I've been doing it. Now, you know, I'm putting myself out there now as far as this image and as far as my brand. But without all this, man, I know how to eat. I know how to take care of myself. So like, please, man, y'all just educate yourself. Learn skills where you don't have to get up out of the bed. You got a skill that you know you could just, yeah, man. Take care of what you need to take care of without you having to be physically doing this and doing that. And the way, and the way for you to not physically have to do certain things, you have to mentally use this. Once you mentally got control of this now, you could do this and do that without physically having to do it because you have mastered your mind. You have mastered what you do with your thoughts and your thoughts going to translate into actions. So, man, it's very important, man, as far as the, if that's if y'all looking for financial freedom. So but you know what I've what, what I've learned and what I've seen along the way, man. People don't want it, man. They think they want it, but they don't want it because a nigga like me. I'm not going to hold the secrets. I'm not going to hold, you feel me? I'm not going to hold what I know. You feel me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a share it. But that, but the way I share it, right, is so fucking, <laughs> it's so fucking, like, just, just so smooth. And so my delivery is so like, uh, like people don't even catch what I'm giving them. So they take advantage or the lack of the advantage of the opportunity that I'm given. And you know, it's cool, you feel me? It's cool, I know the grind, I know the time is gonna take for me to be able to, you know, occur this so-called respect, even though I don't really care. That's my thing, y'all. I don't give a fuck about what anybody gotta say about me, feel about me, any of that. Cause it doesn't affect my pockets, it don't affect me. So if I'm giving you the gems and you don't want it, I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck on. If I bring you on and you want to do shit your way, man, if I show y'all the, the, the type of money I spend just to be able to cover production, to cover just my regular lifestyle, Y'all not, y'all not even want it. You feel me, y'all? Y'all, it's, y'all, it's, it's, it, it, it's not comprehensible to y'all. You feel me? It's not. The money it takes to run these businesses and stuff like that, that's why they charge the prices they charge. And that's why I charge the prices I charge. So at the end of the day, man, listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell y'all, Honestly, I'm tell y'all why this is where this is where I made my mistake. You feel me? If you, you want to help your people so bad, man, you be want to help your people so bad. You want your people to win so bad that you know you don't charge or you don't do this or you don't do that. You feel me? You know I've been I've been blessed to be accepted amongst. You know, the tastemakers, the entrepreneurs, the millionaires, you feel me? I've been accepted by them, you feel me? And there's certain things that they, they share with me and, 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 you know, give me. But you know, one thing they don't give me is money. They don't give me money. 
I remember one time I was talking to one of these guys, one of these millionaires, these successful guys. And I kept saying, man, I need a partner. Man, I need an investor. I need this. I need that. And he kept saying, bro, you don't need none of that. Everything you need, you already got it. You don't need none of that. And then you know what? He fell back off of me. So now I'm sitting like, damn, we had plans to do this and do that. Now he, he fell back off of me. But then at the same time, I got the message. I understand. I understood. Like, okay. He want to make sure that I get the message that I do this on my own. And you know what, man? I appreciate him for that. You feel me? Because I supported him. He supported me. And he's still supporting me. You feel me? With knowledge. With the lessons. You feel me? So listen, man. Y'all, I'm telling you, man. It ain't about money. Like money. Money ain't real. Money. money you feel me? Like a dollar ain't a dollar. You can't get four bags of chips, candy, and all that shit like we used to do with a dollar back in the day when we was kids and shit. You can't, that's dead. Money ain't money. It's about assets, man. It's about them things that you can leverage. You feel me? It's about ownership. It's about owning your intellectual property, owning what you come up with, create. Like girls, uh, you know, girls, you know, they like to be fly. You feel me? They like to look good. But you look you you look at the average show called baddie right now. You look at her from the top of her head to the bottom of her fucking feet. And you tell me one thing that she owns. Cause what 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 she owns, she covering up. Her hair, she covering it up. Her natural skin tone. This and her, her eyelashes, she covers it up. They cover it up, man. What they really own, they cover it up. They don't leverage that. So at the end of the day, man, financial freedom, man, comes with a cost. You must give up your attachment to these things, man. You got to give that up. That's the cost of your financial freedom. You have to give up your attachment to these material things. You have to give up your attachment to these corporations. You have to give that up for you to get your financial freedom. I mean, I don't know, man. Like sometimes, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's crazy because you know I was young and a dumb motherfucker like I was always intelligent but as far as making it make sense and connecting the dots with with my with just where I'm at you feel me I was dumb you feel me I was chasing you know dumb shit putting value in dumb shit now this is the happiest I've ever been in my life this is the most clear hair that I've ever been in my life. I know what I want to do with my life. Some of y'all personally know me and y'all know my journey. Y'all remember when y'all used to say free speedy, you feel me? I'm not no career criminal. I'm not in and out of prison. I'm not. You feel me? I'm not out here hurting people and doing stuff like that. You feel me? Like, give it up. Y'all so-called street niggas, give it up. All y'all doing is just working for the prison system, the judicial system, lawyers and, and, and bails, bondsmen, all these people's eating off of the backs. Are you street niggas? Give it up. I remember one year, man. I made a hundred thousand. I'm counting this hundred thousand like yeah. Thinking I'm that nigga. I'm rich, this, that, and the third. I end up giving that money right back to my lawyers. Parole. Probation. 
right back, man. Right back. It ain't worth it, man. And, and you're going to be stuck. You're going to be living a life just like this, going in circles, going in circles. It's not financial freedom, man. And it's just, it's really common sense. But you got to assess your life and be honest with yourself, man. You got to be honest. You really got to be honest, man. Um, hey, man. Um, you know, I got different, um, different shows that I'm producing. You know, I got other podcasts that I'm paid to produce. You feel me? So it's like, the way I want to go with where you at network, I wanted to be one of the top streaming services, man. I wanted to be up there with the Netflix and the, you know, the Amazon Primes, the Hulus and you feel me? Like that's my aim. That's what I'm going for. And, and just sad to say like me trying to bring along other people like that's not gonna get me there it's not gonna get me there you feel me so i will be you know we will be expanding dmv philly new york we will be expanding as far as talent we will be expanding you feel me so this week it's gonna be a hectic week. I'm, I'm gonna be doing some traveling, doing some moving around, a lot of meetings. Cause it's time, time for me to just go to the next level, man. Like, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I've always, I've been left Baltimore. I've been got up out of Baltimore. And ever since I left Baltimore, the opportunities and the type of money that I've made has, has just risen dramatically. The knowledge that I've uh, occurred had risen dramatically. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to get away from the things that you feel so connected to. You have to get away from that. And then your horizons are just gonna grow, grow your ideas, your imagination, your opportunities are going to be abundant. So I'm up out of Baltimore, man. We going global, man. Straight up, we going global, man. And man, Hey, I don't like to speak on things that's not in stone yet, but we got a lot, a lot of things that's just going to come, but it's in due time. You feel me? I don't rush myself. I don't live by a 12 month calendar. I live by me. I live by what the times I set. If I want this year to be September all fucking year, that's what it's going to be. Financial freedom. If that's what y'all want, man. Tap in to the wolf, man. Tap in. I'm giving y'all free game. I'm giving y'all free game, man. Y'all better tap in and run with it, man. Because next time it come around, man, y'all going to have to pay for it, man. And I'm standing on my price, man. I'm standing on that. If you don't like it, take your broke ass on. I don't care how much design you got. This thing, you're broke. Take your broke ass on, you feel me? But I'm offering free game, man. And I'm only talking to the wolves. The rest of y'all, y'all sheep. Y'all swear y'all this, y'all swear y'all that. Y'all sheep, man. Y'all being controlled. Y'all are owned. Y'all are walking billboards for all these different corporations. But y'all think y'all fly. Y'all sheep. All dressed alike. Financial freedom, man. Learn it. Get it. The wolf of Charles Street, man.